shade of black skin. As you can see, I have a very beautiful woman with a beautiful skin color here with lots of texture and the skin is just amazing. Shout out to the photographer who did this work. I'm not the one who took this, so I don't want to take credit for that. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to do some corrections. The color grading was done really good. I just feel like it's a little bit underexposed a little bit. So let's fix something in the picture. So what I'm going to do, if I come here and click auto adjust, this is what it's doing. As you can see, it look, now looks really bad. Lots of shiny faces here. And as you can see, the background also looks really bad. So I rather do it my way. So I'll come here and reset. And I'll walk out my way. This is not an image I've seen before. I've just looked at it in my images. And I've said, let me just make a tutorial on how I would do such a picture. The, I'll come here to the exposure. And I will increase the exposure a little bit. Because I feel like it's a little bit exposed. And exposed. But I have limitation because whenever I increase it. It has the same effect, so I have to be very keen whenever I'm revealing such an image. So I'll just leave the exposure for now. And then let me see the, what the brightness will do. I will just increase the brightness a little bit. And we've not been able to accomplish much if I just show. Because we've just increased the brightness just for a while because we have limitation of this light here on the face and and so the next thing I'm going to come here I will just come here to the levels here I will reduce the dark side here a little bit and increase the brightness on this side I want to see increasing the ex the contrast what it will do as you can see lots of something we've done pretty much of good work here so the next thing i'm going to do i'll close up the levels first come here to color editor I'll be very quick to choose this skin because it's amazing but still it has some contrast here I'll come here and choose the color picker and choose any part of the skin which I want the color to dwell on. Then I'll turn this on just to see how it will look. It will look, and as you can see, I think the picture is really looking good. So what I'll do, I'll just increase the lightness here, and also make sure that I increase the lightness in the uniformity, just to make sure that the skin, the face has the same uniformity with other parts of the body. And make sure that also you don't overdo it because overdoing it also will tend to change the the color of the model. As you can see, this is what you've been able to accomplish so far. So our our tend to increase the smoothness as well here. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to close down the color editor and I'll not do it with the color balance here but I might do it just for illustration I'll come here to the mid-tone and print the color is just somewhere here so I'll just drag it a little bit to this side and just leave it there for, for a while I might come back to see how it looks later the next thing I'm going to do I'm not can touch the highlight if you feel like the headache is not good but for me I think more on liking just is just good because now if you if you if you do if you touch some of these things it might affect the way your picture looks and I took the highlights down so I think just leaving it at such a point where it more kind of matches the skin color will be just nice so just narrow down here and shadows so you can you can just play around with the shadows 
on that point and just leave it at that so what we've been able to achieve this is what we've been able to achieve and i will just close down the color balance come here to the sharpening just increase just a little bit of the sharpening because i think the image is well and sharp enough if you overdo it this will be the result so make sure that you just do it up to a certain point and after that i'll just close the sharpening noise reduction is just nice so i don't have to deal with that so the next thing i'm going to go to is the vignette but before that i forgot something to turn down this mask here so yeah that's why the, the image was looking a little bit different and i don't want to deal with this so i forgot that now since i'm looking like this the image now looks really really bad I might come here to the color editor just to do some adjustment here just come here to the advanced not not the color editor the color balance color balance and just take it back to a certain point the highlight i overdid it so just take it back to that point and i'm hoping that it's not really good but at least it looks better than it was the next thing i'm going to do i will just come here to i might look if you're interested you can come and just choose one of the icc profile if you know the can the camera in which you used one of these fujifilm sort of cameras here but i will just leave it the way it is for now and if you if you think that the picture is still un, underexposed you can come here and increase the brightness a little bit and also the right and as you can see we've been able to over to bypass this brightness that was here that was affecting the whole picture and i'm hoping that you have gotten or you've learned something in this tutorial and i'm hoping to see you in the next one till next time bye bye